All right, folks. Last time I had the Scorpion out, I used a 20-round magazine, and it just stopped functioning. The bullets were jamming in the magazine. And uh, so I'm going to use a 10-round magazine again. But the other thing was, when I took this apart to clean it, there was a lot of metal shavings in there. And it was the plating from the various bullets that I used was all inside here. So I did some more polishing on the, cham the uh, chamber, and the ramp, the feed ramp, not the chamber. And I beveled the bottom of the chamber just slightly to <clears throat> see if they'll feed in better and not shave the uh, some plating off of the bullet. Well, that looked good. So let me see what the damage is. Yeah, I'm not seeing any shaving in there. So maybe I fixed it. Right again. I noticed that 20 round magazine, the bullets would jam in there. And uh, so I don't really care for the 20 round magazine. I think maybe. Just to, you know, because all I do, this is just something to play with. It's pretty impractical for anything else, really. It was just a fun, fun project, a fun build, and I really enjoyed building it. And uh, so maybe now I have a, everything worked out of it. I didn't even bring the 20 round mag this time. And it worked good. All right. Again, I want to check. See if there's any shavings in there. And it looks good. You have one minute till the ceasefire. You have one minute. So, yeah. Uh, well, there you go. So, yeah, I guess if you get one of these kits, you're going to have to polish the ramp on that but for the new barrel. Uh, that's, a, that's a new American-made barrel, as you've seen in my previous videos on this. 20-round mag doesn't seem to work for me. I could try it again, but it'll, I think they just jam. And uh, I'm making another 10-round mag. But yeah, it's uh, got a good group. 32 ACP. Fire, fire, All right. Fire, fire. There, I'll take you down there and show you. I'm 
my end point here, shoot high. I'm thinking that's really good, really good. That scorpion's fun. That was a fun build and pretty decent shooter. Of course, we're at seven yards, so. All right. Okay, YouTubers. This is uh, one of my gun range friends, Greg. And uh, he's also a subscriber to my channel, and he's getting ready to try the uh, VZ-61 Scorpion. You only put six in there? Yeah. Well, shoot it some more. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably the most useless gun you could ever want, right? Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The build, it was so easy. It was amazingly easy compared to the BM-59 build I did and the Set Me build I did, this thing was a piece of cake. <clears throat> yeah, it looked like it. I mean, relatively speaking. Yeah, and RTI has a, a complete kit with the barrel and everything. I would, I don't know how long you're gonna have them, you know. Yeah, they kinda come and go. Mm -hmm. I thought about getting another one, but eh. Yeah, you know. I don't think that one loaded. No. Okay. Blame operator. Right, let me see that one there. Yeah, it pushed that bullet back a little bit. Pretty daggone accurate, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I think it's best to get used to that brass going straight up. Yeah, yeah. It's surprised they haven't got any down my shirt yet. <laughs> no, that is really cool. I hope that all recorded. I think it did. Okay, let's go down and see how Greg did. I think Greg did a pretty good job with the Scorpion. Okay. Let's go on to the next video.